the closer together the air temperature or the dry bulb and the dew point temperature, the more likely it will rain or snow. The further apart the air temperature and the dew point temperature, the less likely. So if it was 24 degrees outside as the dry bulb temperature and we got a dew point temperature of 22 degrees, now we know we're very close to the dew point temperature, the air is getting really saturated, two, three degrees apart, yeah, it's going to rain or snow depending on what the temperature is. At these temperatures, it would fall as rain. Let me show you another one. Let's, let's just try another one. Let's say I had a, let's go back to the reference table. I'll use the example that I, that's, that's in my slideshow. Um, I have a dry bulb temperature of 24 degrees again. Dry bulb, 24 degrees Celsius. And this is telling me that the difference between the wet and the dry bulb temperature is 10 degrees. Can you figure out what the wet bulb must have been if it's a 10 degree difference? Hmm? Well, will the wet bulb always be warmer or cooler than the dry? The wet bulb will always be cooler because it's wet, it's evaporating, and evaporation is a cooling process. Therefore, the wet bulb must have been 14 degrees Celsius. Let's find the difference. That was a difference of 10 degrees Celsius. This is the wet bulb depression, or the difference between the wet and the dry bulb. According to this chart, this one's already done for you, if I go to the dry bulb temperature, which was 24, and the difference, which was 10 degrees Celsius, and come over here, the dew point temperature, the point of saturation, the point it will rain, is 6 degrees Celsius. Tell me, if the dry bulb is 24 and the dew point is only 6, is it going to rain? Hell no! This is a beautiful day. We are so far away. We're 18 degrees away from the dew point temperature. It is a gorgeous, clear, sunny day. 24 degrees Celsius, it's beautiful outside. This is how you do dew point temperature. Now, I'm going let, to, let's try another one with different numbers because this one had 24 again. Let's, let's, let's go cold. Let's say I had a dry bulb, I'm going to abbreviate DB, a dry bulb temperature of, oh, I don't know. Um, let's do, I don't know, 10 degrees. 10 degrees Celsius. And a wet bulb, which is always going to be a lower temperature of... Eight degrees. Eight degrees Celsius. Well, what is the difference between the wet and the dry bulb? Well, the dry bulb is 10, the wet bulb is eight. That's a difference of two degrees Celsius. That is the difference, this is the difference, or the wet bulb depression of two degrees Celsius. If I said find the dew point, what is the dew point? Well, I need to look at the dry bulb temperature and the difference between the wet and the dry bulb temperature. The dry bulb is 10, the difference is two. So I'm gonna put my finger on 10, I'm gonna come over to a difference of two. I'm gonna bring this down, I'm gonna bring this over. That is six degrees Celsius. Well, if the air temperature or the dry bulb is 10 degrees and the dew point temperature is six, that's a difference of only four degrees. Is it raining? No, but it's cloudy. This. They're closer together. Can you see that? So because they're closer together, it might not be raining yet. We haven't hit the dew point temperature, the point of dew, D-E-W, dew. We haven't hit that point yet, but they're so close together that it's certainly a cloudy day outside. It's a lot of water vapor around. Does that make sense? Okay, now I'm going to show you another nifty little thing. What if they give you a dry bulb temperature that's odd? Remember that all of these numbers are even? That doesn't mean it can't be done. Watch this. Let's say I had a dry bulb temperature of, I don't know, I'm making it up, uh, 13 degrees Celsius. And a wet bulb temperature of, I don't know, nine degrees Celsius. So these are odd numbers. Doesn't mean it can't be done. Let me show you how to do it. The process is the same. We have to find the difference between the wet and dry bulb temperature. Well, 13 minus 9, 
is four degrees Celsius. This is the difference. Okay, so I want to find what the dew point temperature is. Well, if I'm looking for the dry bulb temperature, I'm looking for 13. 13 not on here. Yeah, but let's just say it was. If 13 was on here, where would it live? 13 would have to live between 12 and 14, right? So put your finger right here between 12 and 14. Hold it right there. It's going to be somewhere over here. The difference is still 4 degrees. So I'm going to come down with the 4. And I'm going to stay between the 12 and 14, between the 12 and 14, between the 12 and 14, between the 12 and 14. And here's the 4. And you know what I find? It's somewhere between 4 and 6. It's got to be between 4 and 6, which is only one number. It's only one number. What number lives between 4 and 6? Guess what? 5. That's the dew point temperature. It has to be between 4 and 6. We still had the difference. We just had to figure out where the odd number would be. You can do it if they give you an odd number. I hope this is clear for you guys. I hope this helps. Very straightforward chart. You find the dry bulb temperature. They might call it the air temperature and the difference. And the closer together the dry bulb and the dew point, the closer together, the more likely it will rain or snow, depending on what temperature the air is. If it's very, very cold, it'll fall as snow. If it's warmer, it'll fall as rain. But the closer together they are, the closer you are to the dew point. And I got to tell you, today is a cloudy day. We just might hit the dew point, right? Okay, so I'm going to put up a assignment in Castle Learning that's all about dew point. All right. Ooh, sorry, kitty. I just killed my cat. Um, I hope this helps. Um, I hope you're all staying healthy. Um, and if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm going to upload this video. Dew point is fun. And that's it. Hope you're all doing all right. Um, this assignment will probably be due, today's Tuesday, Thursday. Okay? Watch this video a couple of times. Ask me anything. I'm here for you. Please ask me questions. Some of you are not asking me questions. Ask me some questions. All right? Hope everybody's good. Bye.